Hi, I'm Stephen Kwan, and I'm, this week we're, I'm with Kim Cattell, uh, my fellow arts writer in the Arizona Daily Wildcat. And this week she'll be making uh, an easy recipe that she calls... It's called Cheesy Chicken, and we make it all the time back at my house, and I've kind of just brought it to college with me just because it's that easy, and I love it. It's so good. So um, basically, you can have it range anywhere between one and however many people you are inviting over. But um, it usually can fit about like four chicken breasts in a um, casserole dish. But I'm just going to do it for one. So you have your chicken breast. It's wonderful. And you just put it in the casserole dish. Then you have a can of cream of mushroom soup. Whatever brand you want, it honestly doesn't matter. And I noticed that it's uh, reduced sodium. Does that change the flavor at all? No, not at all. You can't even tell the difference. I've used this kind pretty much the entire time, any, any time cooked um, here, and it's been perfect. So what you want to do is you just spread the cream of mushroom soup over the um, chicken breast. And normally, if you have more the can, um, you would be a lot more, um, you wouldn't put as much on, but it's kind of nice just to have the sauce baking anyways around it, just so you could have extra and put it along. So you need just enough to coat it then? Yeah. Um, I usually use, use the whole can though, just because if you wanted extra sauce, you can. I mean, why not? You're already using it. It's already open. So you just put that in like that. And then you get some cheddar cheese or whatever kind of cheese you want. It honestly doesn't matter. And you want to sprinkle it over however much you like. I see you got the uh, proof shredded kind. I did. Because... It's just easier. It's faster. I prefer it. And you want to make sure that your oven is set to 350 degrees. And that's it for the chicken. You just put it in for about 30 minutes. Obviously check it to make sure it's done properly, but 30 minutes is usually the key and it should be all set. Okay, so while that's cooking, uh, we can move on to the rest of the meat, Yes, right? we can. So what I usually eat with them are fresh green beans and um, just a box of gorsaroni. It's like seven minutes and it, it tastes really good. It tastes as if you would just like make it yourself. So we're going to bring this over. Normally you shouldn't start either one of them until you have about 10 minutes left. But if you want to start the water boiling before that, you can. For the beans, you want to make sure that you snip off the ends, which obviously is pretty easy. You just snip them off, just because they don't taste very good. But, I mean, you can do it if you want. So, you want to fill up the water so that it hits about halfway to the beans. And normally you might want to, like, dump it in, dump it out, depending. Or you can just guesstimate if you're good at that. And we're going to bring that to a boil before we put them in. And then for the rice aroni, it takes one and a half cups of water, I believe. Usually just about, you can fill up the top so you don't even need anything. And that's about as much as you need of that. So then you just, this is um, long grain and wild rice, it's a little bit healthier than normal. So you just pour that in. And you add the special seasonings, as they say. And then mix it up. With the rice, you'll pretty much know when it's done, it gets a lot thicker and you can see it forming around it. So even if you're, you know, a little off on the time, it's pretty, pretty um, self-explanatory when it starts to start cooking. And then we just wait. All right. Looks like our beans are about done. So we are going to take them over here to the sink and pour them into a strainer. 
If you don't have a strainer at the dorm that you're at or just don't have one in general, they're like 99 cents at any kind of store, so they're not too difficult to find. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and another way to strain it is to just take a fork and like pour off the water. Mm-hmm, yep. <clears throat> So now what we're going to do is we're going to pour a little bit of olive oil again into um, probably about half the cup just for this amount because it's so little. And you want to pour that over them. And then we probably don't even need all this butter. But kind of guess accordingly. Just a small dab. Just a small dab. <laughs> we're just going to mix that up till the butter melts and mix them. So you want to get make sure that they all get covered and then what we do is it's actually really simple we're just going to add some salt and pepper and some garlic powder so you just want to sprinkle this on and add a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper all right it looks like our chicken's about done so we are going to take it out. And now to see the finished product, we have right over here, the cheesy chicken. It is not the most beautiful thing, but I promise you it is delicious. It certainly smells good. It is so good. And the beans and wild rice. Stephen, would you like to try it? Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm.